Hey there, Gold Digger. Welcome back for another episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes. I so appreciate you tuning in today because for this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to get started with personal branding in three easy steps. I personally had 250 friends on social media, on Facebook actually, when I started. No Instagram account. I had no clue what I was doing. And now I've grown it to well over 100,000 followers in just a couple of years. So this stuff actually works. This stuff is simple. And you're gonna be blown away at how these three simple steps and easy steps are gonna get you started immediately. Stay tuned. All right, so when it comes to getting your personal brand started in three simple steps, we're gonna start off with branding yourself and not a thing. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, when it comes to branding yourself and not a thing, I want you to look at your social media right now and I want you to ask yourself, when people come to my Facebook page, my Instagram page, am I promoting the company I'm working with or maybe you're doing affiliate marketing for a company or even a coaching program, right? Are you promoting a thing, a company, a product, a service, a brand of some sort, uh, I mean a product, a, a package? Are you promoting a thing? If you are promoting a company, let's just use that as an example because I think most of you are familiar with network marketing and how it works. You're obviously an independent contractor. You're a representative for that company. You don't own the company. You don't own the products, you're the middleman, okay? So what I'll see is, and this is how I was when I first started because I had no idea, people will promote that thing. You'll see the website name, you'll see the website link, you'll see the company name. They're talking, I've even had people, and you might be one of these people and you need to change it today, where their Facebook, or especially I see this on Instagram a lot, is the name of their company. So let's say your the name of your company was Amazon. Let's just say that was your network marketing company, which there's not one of those, so we'll use that as an example. If you said, Kimberly Amazon, come follow me at Kimberly Amazon, that's against the policies of the platforms themselves, and it's just not good branding because you're branding the thing. So why is that bad? Couple things. First off, what if you decide to pivot? Do you know how many people switch what they're doing, even not even amongst network marketing companies? Sometimes people will start off in network marketing and they'll become a coach. Sometimes coaches get into network marketing. Sometimes people start with one thing and they shift to a different name. They roll out a different program. So if you're everything centered around that brand or uh, that product, that company, that program and you shift directions, now you've got a backpedal. Now you've got to explain to everybody. Now you have to start changing everything. Like if your website name or your username or the content that you've promoted, if you're no longer with that company, you're going to have to go through and remove stuff. You're going to have to scrub stuff. It's going to be really confusing to your audience. The other thing you want to remember is that people buy from those they know, like that they know, like, and trust. They're not buying from that company. Your company probably has thousands, if not millions of representatives. They could go on the website and order today. So why do they choose you? Because they like you, they trust you and they know you. So you want to brand yourself. That's why video is so powerful because when I do this video, you feel like you know me, right? And if you're listening on the podcast right now, we're dual streaming and dual purposing this on YouTube as well. So make sure you head to YouTube if you're on my podcast, but listening to my podcast, watching me on YouTube, tuning in for my weekly Facebook lives, you feel like, you know, me, am I not right? It's so powerful. Step number two is to get clear on your ideal avatar. So with the ideal avatar, if you are, uh, I have a whole training on this, so you can go to, uh, how to identify your prospects pain points, that video, or if you're listening on the podcast, check the show notes and I will put that down there in the show notes for you guys. So if you really don't understand this concept, you're going to go watch that training so you can understand it. Please do that. But for step number two, getting clear on your ideal avatar, what does this mean? Well, with personal branding, you need to become known for something. So first off, you need to ask yourself, well, what do I want to become known for? not your products, not your company. Okay. I hope you got that down. You want to become known for something, meaning what do you have experience in or what are you learning right now? If you've been homeschooling for 20 years, you know a lot about homeschooling. If you've been in corporate America uh, and you know, management role, you know a lot about being an executive, being a manager, leading, organizing, running things, getting stuff done, being productive. If you really are getting this whole social media thing down, 
Maybe that's your jam. Maybe it's do-it-yourself crafts. Maybe it's knitting sweaters. But what is the thing that you feel really good about, you love, or you're learning? Okay, if you're learning something new, Guys, when I first started my brand, I didn't know social media at all. I literally would do a Facebook Live on something I'd learned the week before. I'm like, hey guys, this is this really thing, cool thing called Facebook stories? I mean, seriously, like no one was even teaching on it. And I would just play around with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And I would do a training on it and everybody loved it. Okay, many chat, same thing. We, Ooh, what's this many chat thing? Learned it, did a masterclass the next day. Everybody loved it, okay? So it can even be something that you're learning as well. We had a special guest, Elise Ann Olson, so we'll hiccup there. But you want to be known for something, and it can be something that you already feel confident in, or it can be something that you're learning, okay? So if it's something that you're learning, let's say you're listening to some self-development books or in a course or training, you can learn it and turn around and teach it, okay? But what you want to do throughout this process is you want to figure out what is your audience into. You can build an audience around that, but you need to figure out, okay, if that's my space, like I want to be... I want to do, I want to help people uh, plan their weddings online. Like I want to be like a virtual wedding coordinator. Okay. What are the pain points of that, that stressed out bride, right? What are her pain points? Uh, she doesn't know where to start. It's overwhelming. She doesn't want to spend 30 grand on a wedding. So you need to know her pain points. Okay. That's why I want you to watch that video. So get clear on your ideal avatar. Number three is become magnetic with your attractive content become magnetic. So how do you do that? You offer value. Stop selling, stop pitching. You offer value. When you lead with value and you say, okay, what is some content I can create to educate on this topic? We'll go back to the bride. So if you are targeting people who are about to get engaged or who are engaged and that's who you're targeting, then ask yourself, okay, what's a piece of content I could create? Could I do a YouTube video? Could I do a blog? Could I go live on Facebook? Could I create a, a group, a Facebook group for do-it-yourself weddings where everything in there is about how to do it all yourself, right? Could you teach people how to do their own wedding invitations, which I did my own, which is sort of weird to say out loud because I'm not crafty. Leslie, my best friend, one of my best friends, she helped me make them. Let's be serious. But that at the time would have been really helpful for me because we didn't really have Facebook groups, you know, when we, however long ago, I don't remember, we got married eight years ago to probably figure that out because our anniversary is coming up, but they didn't really exist. So that would have been so helpful for someone like me. So you want to ask yourself, what kind of content can I put out that will attract people to me because when you have a service to add or offer that needs to be the obvious next step the first one is to digest your free content so they do and they're like wow this is so helpful this wedding checklist right or this do-it-yourself uh, invitation tutorial this is amazing and then you say by the way if you want to hire me to manage everything for you and keep you on track make sure you're following a schedule for the wedding to, to happen on time and have everything as it should be you can hire me virtually and here's my services. That person is your ideal avatar. You figured out their pain points. You've offered magnetic content and you've personally branded yourself so they know you, they like you and they trust you. Okay, a big part of that's just showing up consistently on social media. And you know, your mindset comes into play in this. You need to understand that you're awesome. You need to understand that you have value. You need to understand that there's a place for everyone and nothing has been done the way that you would do it. No one has your story, no one has your experience, and no one has your heart and your passion. So you have to kind of just own that and, and be okay with that and say, that's true, right? That, that's an important thing for me to grasp and accept and lean into, okay? Bonus for you, below, you're gonna see a Trello board link where you can actually grab my social media content calendar. It's a way to plan out your Trello, through Trello to plan out, plan out your social media content. Click it, make a copy. In the top left corner, there is a, a getting started guide. It tells you how to use it. It's super simple. There's an app. I mean, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me when it comes to getting organized with my content. So you can use that to make sure you're touching on those pain points, getting clear on what your, your avatar needs. All of that's in the training. So if you want that, grab that below. If you're in the, listening to the podcast, it's in the show notes, okay? And I want to thank you so much for watching this video today on how to personally brand and get started in three simple steps. If you like this video, I have more for you. Hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell. It's going to notify you every time I release a new training, which is every single week. I also want to hear your thoughts. Comment below. What was your favorite tip? Are you committed to getting clear on your avatar and putting out great content to attract those qualified leads to you? Put yes below. So I know that you watch this and also don't forget, tag me on Instagram, take a screenshot of this video. Are you watching it smiling? 
put it in your stories, tag me at the gold digger girl, G O A L. And I will shout you out my stories as well. Thanks for watching until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. Bye-bye. 